Hi friends, Tuesday insights for you. Looking out through the next several days, we'll talk about barrels moisture and how that's going to be coming up toward New England. But you know, first of all, one thing, a lot of you have the app now. Thank you to everybody who's downloaded it. Please make sure you do if you haven't, just so you can stay on top of our forecasts and videos, because on social media, it's kind of hit or miss as to what you see. But many of you have said, please, could you give us a 14 day dew point forecast? Nobody else is doing that. Absolutely. So you look at the dew point temperature over the coming weeks and we stay up. I mean, it is humid stuff all the way through, even the upcoming weekend to a large extent, but look at this still showing up. In fact, even more than it was yesterday, a dip that may come in, not this week, but the middle of next week to the end of next week. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And it's still indicated. So we'll keep an eye on that and keep you posted on that. Hopefully it doesn't get washed away as we get closer to it. All right. Speaking of washed away, all the rain that's coming out of the uh, southern United States, this is the remnant of barrel, which is now moving northeast. And you can kind of see where it's set up to go, right? Basically, it's going to go up into Canada, New York State, and northern portions of New England will bear the brunt of it, but there's a big increase in atmospheric moisture happening ahead of this thing anyway. Plus, I told you yesterday that we're watching a swirling area of energy out over the ocean. Here it is. Look, bottom line is with this right now, it's not well developed, but it does represent upper level energy at the jet stream level. It's going to be wandering westward. It comes over the Gulf Stream. It probably never becomes tropical. I say probably because the Gulf Stream waters are warm this time of the year. But the way it's set up, a cold pool of air aloft, not really favorable to become tropical per se, but it certainly should infuse more moisture along the eastern seaboard as we head to the start of the weekend. I think southern New England will deal with that. So we've got two different systems, basically, that impact us in the coming days. Here is the remnant of Beryl, a cold front that's coming in from the north, helping to focus that and then kind of stalling, almost turning around as a warm front here as we go through Wednesday. So you've been dealing with scattered showers and storms today. Uh, you saw that already in the One Degree Outside Today video. Use our app to get the latest on that using that radar tab with past plus future. But here come more showers and storms scattered around on Wednesday. Uh, we still think later Wednesday, Wednesday night is the rainiest time. But do you notice how the shift has definitely happened that it's mostly northern New England. It's under the gun. Originally, where he's telling you far southern New England, south coast wouldn't get into a lot of rain. Looks like a lot of southern New England, aside from scattered showers and storms, doesn't really get into that kind of axis of heaviest rainfall either. By Friday, there is a front that's kind of stalling over us. So chances are good that you will see at least a pop up shower or storm that'll be in the forecast, but it's really Saturday that some of that moisture starts to come up the eastern seaboard from that Atlantic creature and does at least give us a chance of getting showers in across southern New England during the course of the day on Saturday. So if you go and you say, all right, all five days put together through Saturday, how much rain? I think the wild card is how much comes onto the Cape. You could get a good deal more on a Friday night and a Saturday out of that little Atlantic creature. The farther north and west, you go, I told you yesterday that our in-house guidance, which is our own proprietary stuff, we're still building it, we're still testing it, but it's pretty consistent, including today, on putting some of the mountainous terrain with like five inches or more of rain over the course of the next five days. So while this is the average amount, there will definitely be locally higher amounts that take place, particularly where the mountains can enhance the downpours that come through as we get to the middle and end of the week. Tomorrow's high temperatures still make it to 90 in a lot of central and southern New England. We do that just by virtue of the fact that you do end up with some amount of sunshine. You've got a south southwesterly breeze will be blowing, still pumping in that humidity that we looked at in the dew point forecast. Wednesday night into Thursday, you can see where the heaviest of the rain sets up, definitely across northern New England. Thursday, still a pop up shower or storm here and there across New England. Notice your temperature making a run toward 90 again, not quite as warm the farther to the south coast that you get or the farther north you go. Where you get more of the clouds, more of the showers that bubble up as well. Friday likely still to be running in the 80s to near 90. The only day that I think we might see the temperatures come down in our forecast is in southern New England on Saturday, because if we do get this rain to come together on Saturday, you're going to have to lower the temperature in some of these spots. Although where you're not into that rain shield, you'd still be talking about at least enough breaks of sun that you could warm into the 80s. Meanwhile, just a reminder, grab the app. It's now easy to search on both the Apple App Store. And thanks to so many of you downloading it on Google Play, you can do a search for Noise and you'll see it pop up. Noise is one degree outside weather app. You get your own 14 day forecast and you get that radar with the radar forecast as well in past plus future mode. Thanks for checking in. Hope this helps you to plan out at least as we go on to the weekend. You can always check in for the latest at one degree outside.com.